Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take you through a game I discovered online called the Wrestling Dice Game. This game is a solo game, but you can easily just play this game with two players if you wish. You could also play the game with more than that if you wanted, if you did like tag team matches or even a battle royale. The game is played with just two six-sided dice. So then you're rolling on each wrestler's chart, and then it might direct you to other charts. The health of each wrestler can be found on their card. So today it's going to be Hulk Hogan versus Roddy Piper. And here's the chart we roll on for Hulk Hogan. 6'7", 302 pounds from Venice Beach, California. Singles grade A. The grades is essentially the wrestler's health. So Hogan starts with an A. The highest you can get is A+, plus, and throughout the match, this will either increase or decrease. A+, plus being the highest and best, and F being the lowest and you're at your weakest, and therefore the easiest to pin. Roddy Piper single grade is A. So singles grade, um, I need to clarify, um, means the what they are in a singles match. Then there's their tag team grade. So if this was a tag team match, Roddy Piper's grade would begin at B. So I've marked that here. Here's Hulk Hogan's starting grade. There's a little divider here. Roddy Piper's starting grade of A. So let's get started here. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, to determine who goes first, you can roll the two six-siders, and then I'll determine what the, the darker dice, who that represents, and then this one. So uh, the darker one will be Hulk, and then this one here will be Piper. So let's roll it up. Verl's highest starts. So Hogan uh, got a six and Piper got a three, so Hogan makes the first move. So Hogan rolls a one and a two. Now that is actually a 12. You don't add the dice together unless you're rolling on one of the charts below. So we'll get to that point. But you have to determine what essentially is your tens and your ones. So the dark one is the tens and this one will be our ones. So that is actually a 12. So if we look on Hogan's chart here, a 12, is chart one speciality. So let's go to that chart and see what happens. So here's the speciality chart. And once again, you roll two six-siders and you add them together to see what our result will be and then to find out what happens. So let's do that. A five. So a five says, when the ref is not looking, the heel chokes his opponent. So the heel would be Roddy Piper. So, um, Drop face's grade, the face would be Hulk Hogan. He's the one doing the attack, so he's considered the face. So his grade uh, drops two, and then the he and heel continues his offense. So that means now we'll be rolling on Piper's chart. So let's go lower Hogan's grade by one. So we've done that here. Crossed off an A and put a B. So Hogan drops to a B. And now Roddy Piper gets to continue attacking. Piper gets a 61. Now a 61 is PA, a neck breaker. PA means pin attempt. So we need to go to the pin attempt chart, the finisher chart. So let's go to that one now. So here's the finisher pin chart. Now this is determined, what column we roll on under is determined by the opponent's current grade. So as you can see here, depending what Hogan's grade is, it would be easier or harder to actually pin him. So he has a B. So we can't actually win the match under this column, but you can drop him either two or one grades. Roll that up, and then you add those together on these charts. So that's a three. A three under B, drop two. Hogan drops two more grades. Okay, so we've marked that off. We've marked off the B, and now Hogan has a D. So Piper now gets to continue his attack. So we're for Piper. Piper gets a 61. And Piper gets a PA, which is a neck breaker. So it's another pin attempt by Roddy Piper on Hulk Hogan. So before we go to the pin chart, let's take a look at Hogan's current grade, which is a D. So if we come to D, there we are. There's actually opportunities to win. Let's take a roll and see what happens. So a th three results. A three is a 
under D is a win, but there is something uh, unique, fairly unique about Hulk Hogan and even Piper, is that there's this number down here called KO, which means kick out. So that means whenever there's a successful disqualification roll, count out, or a pin, Hogan in, will be able to kick out of these or to ignore those results three times. But then after the third time, Hogan would have to accept the result that comes. So we now lower Hogan down to a two. So I wrote that down here. Kick out, just spent one, has two remaining. But Piper gets to continue the attack. So that is a 45. 45 is down one, multiple jabs. So Roddy Piper gives Hogan multiple jabs that drop Hogan another grade. So we've crossed out the D, one more grade. There is no grade E, it goes right to F. So Hogan now is down to an F, which is the lowest you could possibly be at, the weakest. Piper gets to continue the offensive. 36. The 36 for Piper is chart seven, wear down. So here is the wear down chart, the rule of two dice, and have them together. Five plus one is six. The result of your opponent reverses. So Piper gets reversed by Hogan. So Hogan reverses Piper's sleeper hold, and now Hogan gets to take over on a fence. So now it's Hogan's turn to attack Piper. We've got a seven, 16, sorry. 16 is a chart three brawling. Here's the brawling chart. Let's roll this up here. Four plus one is five. Five. Hogan gets behind Piper and rakes his back with his fingernails. Gets to continue attacking. Okay, so not much happened there. But the battle continues and Hogan gets to roll again. 45. 45 under Hogan's chart is D1, corner foot choke. Sounds painful. So Roddy Piper drops one, so Piper will be down to a B now. So we'll mark that down. All right, we've done that here. We crossed off the A. Piper is now hurt. He's down to a B. But Hogan gets to continue the offensive. Let's roll this here. 64. 64 is an atomic leg drop. So Hogan gets a PA, which is a pin attempt on Piper under Piper's grade of B. Let's go to the chart. Okay, roll them, have them together. So a five plus three is an eight. Under B, drop one. So Piper drops another grade. Piper will be at C now. So, so far, Piper is at a C and Hogan is at a painful F. But Hogan gets to continue the attack on the offensive. So 44. Hogan's 44 is a down one clothesline. So it gives Piper a clothesline and Piper drops down to a D. We crossed off the C. Now Piper is down to a T, a, a D, sorry. Piper's getting, getting sore. Hogan gets to attack again. Hogan rolls a 6D1. 61 is an elbow smash. A 61, which is a pin attempt. So Hogan gets to roll on the pin attempt chart under D now on Piper. So let's see what happens here. Under D, let's roll them, put them together. And that is a three. Two plus one is three. Three under D is a win, but once again, Piper also has two kickouts. So that means Piper now is down to a one. That's messy, anyway. And Hogan gets to continue the offensive. So Hogan on our Hogan's chart again. 41, up one, crowd cheers Hogan. So the U1 means Hogan gets to go up a grade. So Hogan goes back to a D. And also gets to continue on the offensive. So that is a 16, three brawling chart. Four plus one is five. So Hogan gets behind the opponent, rakes Piper's back with his fingernails again, and continues on offensive. Painful. Hogan rolls 22. 22, chart four, turnbuckle chart. So 
the Hogan turnbuckle. Five plus three is eight. We add them together on these charts. So Hogan throws his opponent into the corner. So Hogan throws Piper into the corner. He, oh, and Piper comes back with a hard clothesline. Your opponent, so Hogan's opponent, Piper, takes over on the offense. All right, Piper's in pain, but he's coming back. So that's a 62. And Piper comes back with a, oh, another pin attempt. Pile driver on Hogan. So Hogan's current grade is D, and Piper's attempting to pin Hogan under D. So let's roll and add them together. That is a seven, and a seven under D is drop one. So it wasn't even a win result, but Hogan is, goes down now to an F. Piper gets to continue on the offensive. 51, 51, down run, down one, running high knee strike. So Piper gives Hogan a running high knee strike that lowers Hogan. Well, Hogan's still at F, so we just leave it as F. The game does suggest that to, to, keep, uh, to keep track, even though it's multiples of the same grade, F, 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 because narratively speaking, uh, the book says that every, every uh, letter would be around two minutes of the actual fight. So now, Piper continues on the offensive. 43. 43, up one. Uses ropes to Piper's advantage. So I guess wraps up uh, Hogan the ropes, takes a little breather, and gets to go up now to from a D to a C. So Piper continues on the offensive. 64. Oh, it's another pin attempt. Puts Hogan into a sleeper hold. Let's go to the let's go to the pin chart here. Now Hogan is at an F, so only a seven would give him a kick out without having to use one of his own kickouts. So let's roll the two dice. An eight, or sorry, a nine. A nine is a win, but Hogan still has two more kickouts remaining. Three's a lot. Three's the highest, I believe, actually, that a wrestler could possibly have for kickouts. A lot of wrestlers have zero. Now Piper gets to go again with the offensive. 34. 34 is chart six, a setup. Setup chart. Six plus two is eight. So Piper goes for a DDT, and then Hogan back body drops Piper to the mat. Hogan takes over on the fence. So now it's Hogan's turn to attack. 25, which is five. Chart five into the ropes. So Hogan throws Piper into the ropes. All right, into the ropes. Hogan, two plus one is three. So we have. Hogan nails Piper with a clothesline and continues on the offensive. Hogan rolls a 16. 16, uh, chart three, brawling. Hogan rolls a six plus one is seven. So Hogan grabs Piper and throws him over the top rope. And they go and go to the go to out of the ring chart. Set up holds, wear down chart, tag team match. Specialty. There we are, out of the ring. Alright, here we go. Seven. Something wild is happening. Go to specialty chart. Oh, dramatic. Specialty chart. Hogan rolls. A six plus five is eleven. So Hogan takes a foreign object from Piper and hits Piper with it. Did the ref see it? So I need to roll under, uh, ho I need to roll on actually the number or higher of Hogan's uh, DQ, which is disqualification. If Hogan is not disqualified, Hogan leaves for the ring. So we come to Hogan's uh, character sheet here, and Hogan's DQ disqualification number is 10. So I roll two dice, two six-siders, add them together. If it's a 10 or higher, Hogan is disqualified. But Hogan still has one of these kickouts, so he won't be disqualified, but let's see if he's got to use it. Seven, so no. Ref didn't see, but Hogan goes for the pin. And currently Piper has a grade, has a grade of C. So grade of C, roll the two dice. Three plus two is five under C. Drops two grades. So Piper now is at DF. 
Hogan con continues on the offensive. 5-3, which is 53. Down two, belly to ba a belly-to-back suplex. So Hogan gives Piper a belly-to-back suplex. Drops two, but Piper is already at the lowest, which is F. Hogan now gets to go on the offensive again. 44. Down one. Gives Piper a clothesline. Just beating on Piper. And rolls again. Hogan rolls an 11 which is chart one, speci specialty. Specialty chart five plus five is 10. The crowd starts uh, chanting and helps Hogan get back into the match. So move Hogan's grade up one and Hogan continues on offensive. So the crowd's loving Hogan right now. So it goes from an F to a D and continues on the offensive. Roll the dice. 61, 61 is uh, a pin attempt, and it's an elbow smash to Piper. There we go, elbow smash. Piper's down his back. Hogan gets on him. Four plus four is eight. Piper is currently under an F. That is a win, but Piper still has the last kickout. So right now, Piper has no more kickout attempts. So whatever result comes from a disqualification or a pin, Piper will have to take. But Hogan still has one more kickout. Hogan on the offensive still. 61. Another pin, another elbow smash to Piper. Oh. So under uh, Piper's current grade, which is F, Hogan rolls. The only way Piper can kick out is in a result of seven. Dramatic. One, two, eight, three. Ding, ding, ding. Hulk Hogan remains the champion. So this game is uh, its a lot of fun. I really like this game. Very simple, uh, very random, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, I think it's, it's actually a really great narrative experience. See, I find myself really getting into it. The mechanics are very, very simple. There are lots of options. You could do a tag team match, and you can actually, if you wanted, there's managers. So there's uh, an additional rules for having, an, having a manager. So certain results on the charts, bringing a manager into the mix, which just causes some more chaos and uh, excitement that you would expect from a wrestling match when the wrestlers get involved. I haven't yet tried the tag team experience or the battle royale, but I can honestly say that uh, this is a lot of fun. Um, the, there's up to 200 wrestlers, I believe, that you can actually print out. Um, it is a print and play game. I'll have the link down below on where you can find it. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really fun experience. And I could see myself coming back to this quite a bit. And uh, it's a great beer and pretzels game with you and your buddies if you want to hold a little tournament. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye now.